An international manhunt is underway for some of the most notorious jewel thieves in the world, striking again, this time a prison break. We've shown you their crimes before right here in the U.S. And take a look at this. The robbery overseas driving their getaway cars right through the mall. 120 heists across 20 countries. And tonight here, ABC's John Donvan on their brand new breakout. They're wanted everywhere. Smash and grab is their style, always jewelry. But today they smashed and grabbed to get one of their own right out of prison. Outside Orb, Switzerland, where one of the Pink Panther gang, as it's known, was serving time for a 2009 robbery. Today, two vehicles crashed through the perimeter, pushed through layers of barbed wire, got ladders up over the last of the wire so their guy could climb over to them. And so the Pink Panther gang strikes again, as it has since at least the early 90s. Most of the time, defeating security, fooling the cops, getting the loot. There's hardly a rich country left where they haven't pulled a heist, including the U.S., and two months ago they're suspected of hitting a hotel in Cannes, right in the middle of the film festival, when everyone else was looking at red carpets. Hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of jewels that time. Security cameras get some good getaways like these other guys in London, but the Pink Panthers one-upped that, driving luxury cars in Dubai to smash their way into a shopping mall and then drive out. Their name comes from this scene in the Peter Sellers classic, Return of the Pink Panther, where jewel thieves hid their loot inside a jar of cold cream. These guys actually once did the same thing. Clever they are, but not nice. To date, the value of their take in excess of half a billion dollars. John Donvan, ABC News, Washington.